Hey now friends, in today's video I'll be showing you how I made these uh, buffalo check nails and I'm going to be doing it on a short sporty length because I think a lot of clients get a, a short length and it's kind of nice to show your clients that you can do different lengths. And um, anyway, so we're gonna mix a little bit of red with a tiny bit of, of black added to it so you create like a shade of red and take your favorite liner brush. Um, this is just a nine millimeter by Nails by Dev, but I also have some other ones linked in my Amazon storefront that you get, I think three in a pack or something like that. So here's a little close up picture. You're just going to make your lines um, like kind of wide. I would try to stay away from real thin lines um, because you're not going to see the checkered effect as well. So I'm just going in and drawing on these little lines. What are these called guys? Is this buffalo check or some other pattern? I don't know. I've seen them called different things. I think white and black checkers is called buffalo check. This red and black checkers might be something else. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what these are called. <laughs> but what I'm doing here is making sure the red line and the black line are even. So try to make them the same width. And then when you draw the horizontal lines, you want to try to make them also the same width and make sure your squares are all relatively the same size. So you can see that the pattern comes out really nice even on really short nails and I think that's a big thing for some clients that they don't have options for shorter nails. But now that I'm teaching you this, you can do it too. <laughs> so on this one, I made my, my shade a little too dark. You can see if you add too much black, it kind of metals together. It still looks cute, but I would say go with a lighter shade. This one, the lines are too thin and, you know, it looks cute, but you can't really see that they're squares and the shade. Um, but look at this little snowflake, super cute, right? <laughs> So now we went ahead and cured that and let's go in with our straight black and we're going to start painting the little tiny squares and it's like every other square you're going to paint and just try to make sure that you do this part very even and symmetrical, you know, so your squares come out nicely defined. I think that's the trick here. Y'all, let me know in the comments, do you like wearing funny uh, Christmas sweaters? <laughs> I went to Walmart today and there were so many different Christmas sweaters, like jumpsuits. I was in love, y'all. Um, I'm like the crazy sweater girl. I love all the fun patterns and stuff you get um, this time of year. So now I'm just topping this with a matte top coat, a real nice thin layer. If you don't like the bumpiness, maybe um, you could even uh, top it with like a very thin layer of builder gel and then go in with your matte top coat, um, just even out the nail a little. So let's create this little snowflake. Now, if you've seen my other snowflake videos, you know that I like to cure in between. So I'll make this little X or cross pattern right here and then I will bake it. I'll cook it, right? And then I'll go in and very carefully try not to get too much uh, gel paint in the middle of the snowflake so you don't get too bulky there and then cook it again. Um, I'm now going, because the snowflake is so tiny, I am using the tiniest detailer brush. I think it has like three hairs on it <laughs> that I cut into this shape so I could get very fine details. And what we're just gonna do here is, you know, make three little lines, and then on the next long line, you're gonna make three lines, but you're gonna have that center one touch. And you see what I'm talking about here, 
how the other two don't touch, but the center one does. And I think that makes a cute little effect. Y'all, this nail is so tiny. Just for reference, this is a size six, size six nail. So that's a very standard uh, nail size for like a ring finger maybe, or a pointer finger. So um, I like to practice on realistic size nails not just on the size zero thumbnails <laughs> but grab your dotting tool and then add some little dots here at the very tip of the snowflake and I think that just makes it have a real real cute look um, and you're gonna see here in a second another fine detail that I do I think it it's super cute it's just one other way to do your snowflake sorry I'm off out of frame over here <laughs> pull it through don't cure it those dots yet and pull it through and look you have three different varieties one is even in silver if you have silver gel polish um but i think they're adorable what do you guys think let me know in the comments if you're going to try this tag me in your videos if you do try it and um, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these how to paint with me type of videos. Um, I will definitely be doing more artwork in the future for everyone. And until next time, thank you. Bye.